it is um, Labor Day weekend and it is our anniversary so we are heading out to Costco we dropped the kiddos off at the in-laws they are having um, a sleepover with Grammy and Pappy this weekend and so we stopped at the bank and I made myself a paleo coffee this morning for anybody who's interested I can drop a recipe um, down in the description below. Uh, it is a mocha frappuccino. Um, took a little while to come up with, so I can go ahead and drop that down if anybody wants it. And we are heading out to um, Costco and to Trader Joe's. This is the hubby. Are we going to say hi? Hi. <laughs> yeah, he's loads of fun for everyone, huh? So I will um, maybe do a little shop with me, and I will definitely um, throw a haul out there for you guys. I will probably do them separately because we are hoping to do um, a big stock up today. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, we are back. I was hoping to do a little shop with me, but my phone was dying while we were out. Um, I need to get a new phone, I think, and it needs a new charging port or something. So anyways, um, we were gone for like, nine hours I think and we did hit Trader Joe's and um, Costco and so I'm going to do Costco now and you guys can keep an eye out for um, a Trader Joe's haul hopefully soon but I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we got we spent I think it was close to seven hundred and twenty five dollars today so this is the biggest Costco haul we've had yet so here we go start over here with the frozen stuff um that way if my husband wants to take it and start putting it away right after i film he can but um we got i've showed these before we get the organic rice cauliflower and they come with i think um four four individual bags in each one um and you can just heat those up however you um, typically heat up riced cauliflower. But it's um, a great price point. Um, I think it works out to roughly $2 maybe a bag or less. So it's a good deal for that. Um, I also found this this time. It's um, an organic blend. It's not quite what my son already likes, so I'm not sure if he will like this one, but we're going to try it, um, and if he doesn't, then I'll be able to have this on hand to use for me um, just from time to time to make smoothies when, for myself when I'm not making them for the kids. I like that they're the individual pouches, which is nice sometimes, um, especially if my kids want to try to start making the smoothie by themselves. They don't always finish it because they can't pour it without making a mess, but... Um, and then I got one of these. Um, my big girls really like to do uh, the berries, and so I picked this up because our last one is almost out. And then I got another bag of this, um, again, for myself and for my son if he wants some of that. My youngest daughter will eat um, either, whichever I give, have extra of, she is happy to have. So, And then we got a bag of broccoli. Um, we have been very lucky. Our garden has been keeping up very well. Um, and we um, do get peas and corn from there, but we don't eat much corn at all. And so that bag will probably last us, honestly, most of the year. And then we, um, because our garden has been doing so well, we haven't really needed, um, we just haven't been using peas as much. We've been using what we have. So um, we still have a lot of those. So that was all we needed for um, frozen vegetables this time. And then, um, this really isn't frozen, but I'm going to go ahead and do it so that I can throw it in there and he can go start putting things away. I got the um, Plainville turkey breast, and we do still have some left from last time, um, but we are now back into school season, and we are doing, um, we did our first field trip on Friday, and when we go on field trips, this is something easy to make like a homemade Lunchable out of, and so I went ahead and picked up some extra, plus we use them for dinner at least once a month. Um, we make like a, a turkey wrap, so... And for anybody who's not seen the ingredients on the Plainville, they are very clean. Um, definitely by far the best we can find around here. And these run, I think it's like $13 roughly. And so when you um, divide that out, it really is pretty comparable to any decent meat that you can find anywhere. This is the best price I can find for organic turkey um, at this weight anywhere. 
And then we got um, the Adele's chicken sausages. My kids really like these. They're fast. They're easy. Um, you can you can usually, if you're careful, cut these. And so you don't have to use them all. Sorry, my husband pulled them apart to put them in the cooler for the way home. And that's why this is broken. But you can um, cut these apart and you don't have to necessarily use the whole pack at one time. But these are really great for a quick dinner. Um, let's see if I can flip this over for you. You can see the ingredients are pretty clean on that. Um, so we love these um, on nights when I'm just not up for making a big meal and we need to do something very quick. Um, just fry these up in the pan, make some french fries or some potatoes and some veggies and you're done. Now over here, our local store actually had um, Halo on sale and I've heard a lot of people talk about this. Um, they're doing more like keto diets and stuff like that. It is not, um, let's see if they have the ingredients on the outside of this. It is not the cleanest. I'll be admitting that. Um, it is. It would be better to make your own. But that is not um, something that I can personally do at this moment. So um, looking at this, we, we decided we would check it out. And so um, my local grocer had had this on sale. And I had a coupon, so we decided to try it out um, actually just the other night when we had stopped there for something else. Um, and my husband thought it was pretty good, so we decided that when we went, we would go ahead and pick up the four pack. We don't eat a ton of ice cream, um, but it is something we really enjoy on occasion. And so we got these to put in the freezer for um, myself and for him, just for a special treat on some evenings when we would like to have ice cream. And then I found this, we, again, we don't need a ton of pork either, honestly. I would prefer not to eat pork, but my husband does really like it. Um, so we do eat it um, a couple times a month. It does, it is um, no antibiotics, but pork itself is just not a clean meat. So it is what it is. But as far as being what's being added to it, there's not much to this at all. I've seen this on a few other people's um, videos, and it's... Um, very quick, it seems, for the heating directions. Sorry, there you can go. Stove top, because we won't use a microwave. And so, again, it's not... It's something that can be super quick. Um, I don't have to have a lot of preparation for. And so, if we are really under the gun to get a dinner... Um, sometimes that happens when I spend all day cooking. I'll spend, like, eight hours on a weekend batch cooking things. Um, and plus, then having to make, like lunches and breakfasts and everything for my husband for the week and our breads and whatnot and by the t end of the day I'm like oh no it's five o'clock we don't have dinner made and I don't even have anything like pulled because I spent the whole day so then would be a good time to pull this out um and be able to make it and so I guess we'll just start over here Oops, sorry guys now these, this will actually come more out of like, um, and you'll notice there are a few things that won't come out of like our grocery budget, and this is one of them. These were there, um, they had some, they had like a Disney princess, and a, I think it was a Batman, and they had a really cute fireman one, which is what I really wanted to get my son, but we are going to Disney um, in the late winter, early spring, I guess, time, and the my li my big kids have really cute... Minnie Mouse um, raincoats that my brother and sister-in-law got them when they went to Disney in Paris, which is awesome. Um, they had got them because their birthday party was, was right around when they were coming home, and so they kind of got that as their birthday present, but my little two do not have a raincoat, and seeing as it rains a lot in Florida, we decided that we would go ahead and pick those up. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to give them to them now or if I'm going to hang on to them until Christmas because we won't be going on, going until after Christmas. But I thought those were super cute. Um, I think they were sixteen or seventeen ninety nine each, but they seem like they're really good quality. And then we got paper towels. We've actually been out of paper towels for a while. I order those usually on um, subscribe and save from Amazon. And I just I had mentioned this in my last video. I've been trying not to do that as much. And when I do do it, I've been trying to be very picky about what I get. So. Um, we haven't had paper towels in a while and I do like them to clean up messes sometimes, um, or just like to wipe my little kids' hands because they like to ruin my dish towels <laughs> with their hands and when I go through five dish towels a day, I run out of laundry, um, or run out and I don't have enough laundry to necessarily do them. So I like to keep these on hand, um, for occasional use with them. So we don't go through them a ton, but, so this should last us hopefully a good while, um, 
And then we got this uh, two months ago when we went. We actually still have some of it. Um, but we were running low, and again, I haven't been doing the subscribe and save as much, so I decided we would pick a second one up, because as always, when we go to Costco, we don't know um, when we will be getting back necessarily, um, and I hate to run out of things from there that we like to use, because um, it's not easy to get back there for us all the time. So we picked one of those up. Back here, I got a contact solution. Um, this was actually on coupon, which was kind of nice. I think it was maybe $14 um, for the double set. I was out of contact solution um, literally yesterday, so that was perfect timing. I wanted to see what their price was, so I, I needed to get it there because I haven't got it anywhere else. I think that's pretty comparable, honestly, um, to where I've seen other double packs, but uh, that works for me. I'm happy with it, so... Um, we got the Dr. Teal's Epsom salts. Um, I was running low on my Epsom salts. I do detox baths at least once a week, and then I try to do them for the kids when I can, so we needed to get some of that. Be careful when you guys um, get your Epsom salts in general. Let me see if I can find... I'm sorry, guys. Let's see if I can flip this over for you. Um, you want to be careful the ingredients. This one, you'll see, is literally just the magnesium sulfate. I have found that some of them are not as clean and they have a lot of additives to them and you don't want that. So um, this was a nice nice find. I was happy to find they were really clean. Um, back here we got a set of Kleenexes. Um, again, not something we even needed yet, but my husband saw them and um, again, I believe they were on sale, which worked out to just under a dollar a box. Um, so we went ahead and picked them up um, coming into the uh, fall and winter season when sniffles are going on we figured it would be good to have those in the house we probably won't need to buy these any every trip by by any means but with the with the season change coming around where we are we decided we would pick those up and then here we got um, another book set we got two book sets last time we were there and so I've really I really like to look at the books there um, but I've heard lots of good things about um, Sorry about this author, and then the uh, Misty of Shantiqua, is that, I, th I think is how you say that. Um, she has some really gr some great books. You can see she's um, award winning books here. And my middle daughter is into um, horses. She likes to read horse books. She doesn't ride or anything, um, but she really enjoys reading horse books. And so I thought I would pick that up. Um, I'm not sure that she's quite ready for this. I think it's about age eight. But she is like seven and a half, so I think what I'm going to do is, again, um, set this aside for Christmas and then um, wrap it up for her towards the holidays. So, um, here, this is my husband's, not something I'm thrilled to have here, but as I mentioned in my other videos, it's, he's a grown man, so... He's got um, the 18 packs of gum, um, which I think the last time we bought those was maybe our second trip or so. So it's been like four or five months that that's lasted him. So um, it was nice to find those again. These, <laughs> I we stayed up late last night. We're too old for that. And then we were woke up at like 5.30 this morning because um, when you do new construction, you have to put in hardwired um smoke detectors that also have batteries in them and so the battery was low and so we were woke up at like 5 30 going battery low battery low battery low and um we use like our next to last battery and so i did not want to end up we have ended up in a situation where that's happened and we didn't have any batteries and had to wait for somebody to run to the store to get them and so um these were on sale this time they were on coupon i think they were $13 maybe for the set, which unfortunately 9 volts are not cheap, so um, that wasn't a bad price. So we picked those up, and then um, this week we had a lot of rain and a lot of bad storms, and so my husband was like kind of going through the batteries and the flashlights and stuff, and he noticed that we were out of triple A's. So we picked these up. They, um, I've heard good things about the Kirkland batteries. These were like half the price of the triple A's that were Duracell. Um, or about the same price, I guess, but there was 64 in this and 32 in that. So we went ahead and picked these ones up. Has anybody used these before? I'd love it if you drop a comment down below and let me know how they work if you do. Um, hopefully they work well. I don't know. 
Um, and then we got um, baking soda. A lot of these things we haven't bought since the first trip we made, which was back in, um, I think we got our membership in March. Um, and so we actually have a little bit of baking soda left from um, that trip, but we're starting to run out. So I went ahead and I picked another one up. So this lasts us um, a good five, um, almost six months, which is really great. Oops. And then we got parchment paper back here. Um, that was the one thing I meant to check before we left to see if we had any of. I couldn't remember if I brought my second box upstairs um, because we keep the extra bulk stuff down in our basement in cupboards. And so I said, the heck with it. I don't want to run out. So we went ahead and we picked up um, a set of parchment paper. And we had a mishap um, about a week and a half ago where we didn't catch anything on fire, but we did have some flames. And so it made me nervous and thinking back, um, we needed to replace one of our fire extinguishers. Um, and so this one was, I think, $7 and some change. Um, it's rated for all three, um, pretty basic use. And so I just wanted to have an extra one put um, in the house. And so we picked that up. My husband's being silly. We were out. When we go out for the whole day, we try not to use plastic bottles, but when we go out for the whole day, we take our own um, waters for us and whatnot. But we were gone, like I said, for like nine hours, and we go through a lot of water. And so we picked up. Um, these are a really great deal. If you're ever out there, 25 cents a bottle in the little um, machine that's over closer to where like the cafe and cafe type area is. And so we picked some up. Um, one of those is opened. We drank another bottle and then two of them we ended up not going through. So he said that was part of the Costco haul. It has to be in there. So I did want to mention those um, <laughs> since he put them up there that the price is really great on those. So we always grab one for each of our kids when we're out um, for after because they go ahead and they drink that with their lunch because usually their first water bottle that's in their actual container is gone by then. Um, and then we got these Ziploc bags. Um, we are at the end of our kind of like our gardening. We're gearing towards the end of our, our gardening season and we're starting to harvest things and freeze a lot of our vegetables and whatnot. Um, and I was running low on freezer bags. That's one of the only things we really try to use that stuff for. I try not to use too, too much plastic. We use all glass um, as far as like baking and storing in our refrigerator, but when we do go ahead and blanch and freeze vegetables, um, we do put them in these bags. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole, whole lot of other options. Um, so I did go ahead and pick up some of those. My husband got some V8. He was really bummed. I don't know if anybody else drinks these. It looks like the cans are actually smaller. I don't know if you can see they're like a, they're more slender and they're a smaller pack. He was really bummed. Um, that they they move from like a standard pop or soda um, can size into these smaller slender sizes but I guess it is what it is so we did pick up one of those he still has almost a whole case from the last time we went um, but in keeping with the theory we always do we don't know when we'll get back we went ahead and picked that up um, the next thing we got are these we actually got two of them we love these um, we took them on vacation and so we like cleaned out everything we had um, and we've been out for about a week and it's been awful. This is one of our favorite um, things to grab if we're just hungry. Um, we had a birthday party last week and then we had to run to the farm and um, in between it was like getting close to dinner time when I hadn't like had a chance to make dinner and so we were just kind of grabbing things to kind of um, tide us over and so this is a good snack for that type of stuff. Um, so we we're going to pick one up and we got there and they were on coupons so they were only I think like 10 something um, for a set and there's always there's two bags that come with this um, and so I said grab two please for that price um, because like I said we go through them and we really um, we really like these they're grass fed um, which is hard to find anywhere else so we picked up two of those and then I saw these last time I was there and I really wanted to try them but I couldn't justify them because we just didn't have it in our budget this time we were lucky enough to have um, an excess budget we had an extra week paycheck um, kind of thing where we had we budget on four weeks um, pays a month and we had a fifth month um, fifth pay for the month and so um, we were able to spend a little extra and so I decided to try these out oops sorry my thumbs covering them up but you can see while there's a lot of ingredients they're all super clean good ingredients and I have heard from people that these are 
absolutely amazing. The cashier told me you should keep them in the fridge, that they're better that way. So, I don't know. Anybody have an opinion on that? Go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And then we got Aussie Bites. Um, my kiddos love these. And because we didn't go last month, we haven't had any. So, we did go ahead and pick those up for them. And the last um, snacky type thing, per se, that we got besides our, our normal chips, which you'll see in a little bit, were these. Um, I hadn't seen these at ours before. And I looked. Um, the ingredients are fairly clean. There is, um, it looks like, some sugar in there, but we don't fret too much about sugar. I'm trying to watch gl um, gluten and soy more or less. Um, and so I thought these would be nice on, to have on hand for myself. Um, every once in a while we're out running around and I can, I have snacks to take for the kids, but not so much for myself. And so I decided that I would grab these um, just to keep on hand for the occasional, occasional need, especially with the holidays coming up. Um, I'm sure I will be out running about more than I usually am. And then back here I got a vinegar. Um, we do not have to buy this every trip, but I do use this um, a bit for cleaning. Um, and it's a really big jug for anybody who's not familiar with it. Here is that like these are half gallon um, of milk, which I'll show you in a second. But you can see how much taller it is than that. So this is a really big jug and it's um, super cheap. So that's a great place to get your vinegar if you need it. And then this is the coconut oil, best deal I can find around. I think it's about $16 and I forget the ounces on it. There you go, 84 ounces and it's all the good things. I wish it was in a glass jar, but otherwise, you know, it's cold pressed, it's unrefined, um, organic, all the things that you could ask for. And we picked one of these up. Um, again, I've been using this quite a bit, especially with... Um, our sweet potato pizza we've been making a couple times a week now and I just couldn't remember how much was in my last container and so I figured I would pick this up it was a better price than where I can get it um, at my local grocer this one is in plastic and the other one that I had was in glass which I do like that more um, but it is what it is for right now the one that was um, in glass was actually probably about half the size of this and it cost twice as much so I was happy to go ahead and pick that up this time Good. Back here we have, um, it's a three pack of the Silk um, Almond Milk and it is organic, um, which I do like. It works out to be much cheaper than if I go ahead and get um, organic uh, almond milk at Aldi. It's, it's much cheaper that way. So I did pick that up and I got, of course, our big bag of organic carrots. We probably actually won't use all of these, so I will... Um, split some of them up and I will give them to my brother or I will go ahead and try and freeze some of those. Mm -hmm. And then I got one, two, three almond butters. We got um, three of these last time and I do believe we're on our last jar of them, um, which was, it has been two months. So um, if we don't make it back for two months, we'll be good. And if not, we don't have to buy this next time. We did buy um, a case, which is, it comes in a two-pack for the peanut butter last time, and we still have that um, as we use it less frequently. So I didn't have to pick that one up this time, thankfully. But um, for anybody who's unfamiliar, you can see it's just, oops, sorry, focusing, roasted almonds. That's it. No junk in that. So that is hard to find. When you find peanut butter and almond butter, they usually have a lot of garbage in them. Um, I did get some produce, not a ton. Um, I did make a brief stop at Aldi this week, but it was really only for a few things because, like I mentioned, we went on a field trip yesterday, which was Friday, and that is my Aldi shopping day. We picked a couple things up on the way home, but I knew that I was going to Costco, so I didn't fret about it. So I went ahead and I got the big bag of potatoes there. Um, the last few times I've bought them at Aldi, they haven't really been good, so I've been trying to buy them at the local grocer, which is actually more expensive. And so since I knew we were going to Costco, I just held off and I grabbed, this is actually like a 15 pound bag. Um, so I'm going to try and set those in the basement this time. It's cooler and it's darker down there and I'm hoping that'll make them last um, maybe even two weeks if it takes us that long to get through them, especially with the holiday being this weekend. And then I got... These organic Baby Bella mushrooms, um, they changed. They actually didn't have the same mushrooms, but they changed to an organic um, organic mushrooms, which I was really excited about. These, I think, were um, $4.70, $79 maybe for the package. 
and you can see it's 24 ounces so it's a nice big package way bigger than um, you would get at the local grocer our local grocer actually runs um, the eight ounce eight ounce packages I believe it is um, if I can get them on sale they're usually two for five and that's just for the eight ounces so this is much bigger and they are organic so I was really excited about that and then we got the um, baby spinach which my husband mentioned in case anybody cares that it's actually kind of wrapped in plastic inside of the container now um, I'm not sure what the purpose of that is but I just thought that was a little fascinating um, then we got uh, Driscoll's strawberries. We cannot find organic strawberries very easily locally, so I was super excited to go ahead and get those. Um, they looked really good, which was nice. Um, and I can't remember the price on these. I think it was about $4, but for the huge container, it was a good price. So I picked those up, and then I got these for my girls as a surprise when they come home tomorrow. They love raspberries. Again, it's not cheap for us to find organic berries of any kind around here. Um, and they are spending the night at grandma's today since it is mommy and daddy's anniversary and we are spending the whole day out grocery shopping. How exciting. Um, <laughs> they haven't seen us and my, my daughter was having a hard time. She didn't want to leave. She, she was just kind of being attached to me, um, today. And so I was excited to pick these up and I'm hoping they, I will get a smile out of her when she comes home. Cause I did not when I dropped her off, <laughs> um, over here. We got one, two, three maple syrups. I actually am lucky enough, I have a really big maple syrup from um, the Amish right now. Um, but last time we ran out of that and we almost ran out of this, I actually had to buy um, a small glass jar from Aldi, which I don't really like and is super expensive. So rather than running out of the Amish and not having any of this, I decided to still buy the three and then put them in the cupboard downstairs. If we um, don't run out before next trip, awesome. We just have to buy less next time. And if um, we run out of that and need to move into these, no problem. Then we brought a big thing of ghee. We've been trying to use um, ghee more and then um, we got, we've been using this more in like the bottom of our pans for our eggs and stuff too instead of using um, any kind of like spray or anything. Um, and so I've been using olive oil in a spray bottle, but it's just not um, working well for eggs. For everything else it does okay, but for the eggs not so much. So my husband tried using this um, and he did like it. So we went ahead and we picked up a bigger jar of it. And then we got the three pack of the raw honey. We do use um, raw local honey as much as we can as obviously it's the best um, for building your immune system and all those types of things, but sometimes we run out of it. Again, we get it from the Amish. We There are some people locally, but I haven't personally found them. My friends say, oh, I buy it from somebody down on the street here, but nobody seems to know exactly where anybody is. So um, I, we get it from the Amish when we can, and then we keep this on hand for any time we might run out. So I did pick those up because I was on my last one from last time. And then the avocado oil, which I, that's the best price by far that I can find it, is at um, Costco. And so I was really excited. I actually used the very last of my last bottle this morning. But that's something, oops, sorry, focus there. That's something I have not bought since um, I think our first trip there, which again was in March. So that was like six months ago. Um, we do use olive oil and avocado oil back and forth. So, um, and then the coconut oil also. So. I was uh, happy to get another one of those. This, um, my daughter does use, here's the ingredients. Pectin and sugar in there if you have a problem with either of those, but in my house, that's okay. My daughter uses this to um, flavor her yogurt, which is better than the Yoplait or Danon or whatever else she was eating um, prior to our changes. So I... I'm okay with that. Um, we just go ahead and get the big jar and she can use a teaspoon or whatever um, she uses to flavor her container of um, yogurt when she's eating it. So, And then here we got the Apple and Eve organic juice. Um, this will be for the holiday weekend. We're having um, a big picnic and a pool party over at my in-laws um and so we'll just we'll go ahead and drink these um the kids will have them while we're there having the pool party and then they can leave them at my in-laws for the occasional stop um but we don't drink a whole lot of that type of stuff so um we did get um a thing of parmesan cheese i use this in a couple of my recipes and then my kids like to put it on their spaghetti squash um 
So it's as clean as cheese can be, but I, I'm not, of course, if we could find raw cheese in shredded form, it would be awesome. And every time we shred it, it just doesn't seem to hang in there well. So we do keep this one on hand. Um, we're working on the dairy thing. We're a work in progress. And then we got the pancake mix. Um, this is not for for us per se. This is, again, to take to my in-law's house. This is what my mother-in-law makes them when they stay the night. I make all of my pancakes from scratch, but these are super simple for her to make. Um, and you can see, not a whole lot. You add water, you mix, you make. So really easy for somebody who... Um, has somebody maybe coming to watch their kids or something like that or if you don't have a lot of time or you don't like to bake those are a really clean um, option for you and then we got lemon juice um, two big ones I buy the little ones on occasion but I find myself using lemon juice more and more recently um, and so these this two pack I think was like five dollars and so we went ahead and just picked up the big um, two pack that we can keep we have an extra refrigerator downstairs so once it's open i will just keep it in that refrigerator and use it as needed these are my husband's favorite if you watched my last video um you would see that we picked these up for the first time to go on vacation and we actually were halfway through vacation and had to find a costco um on vacation <laughs> so that he could pick up a second one. They are not the cleanest ingredients, but they're not terrible. Um, they are, they do have corn in them, but they are um, non-GMO and they are gluten-free. So um, they're a better alternative, I guess, to the chips he had been eating pre-change. And so he, that's what he equ like equivalates them to. He calls them his chips. Um, so we did go ahead and pick that up. On the note about crackers, you will notice as I finish up my haul, they did not have any Simple Mills crackers, which made me super, super sad. Um, that is like one of my favorite things there, and so I already wrote the company. So if you are in the Pittsburgh area and you watch this, please um, make a comment on their Facebook, and hopefully they will bring them back to us. Um, and then I got four jars of salsa. I will probably only need two, um, but we actually ran out um, over the last period and I couldn't remember if we had bought them the trip before that or if we had um, if they were like the trip before that and so I couldn't remember how long I had them um, so I went ahead and I picked up four of them just to have make sure I have extra and then down here you will notice we have one two three four five six bags of almond flour um, this is Kirkland's brand. It's the best price around for us. If I don't, and if I don't want to order it online, which is also expensive, this is the best place to get it. So I did not want to run out. You can see back there, that is all the flour I have left. And that is the biggest reason we went this weekend because nobody was getting any food made if I didn't go. Um, any of like our breads that I make and different things. So we picked up extras of those. We usually probably only go through about three a month, but I did not want to run out again if we did not get there the next month. So I went ahead and I picked up all six of them. And then the very last thing I got um, at Costco were our organic chips. We did go ahead and we picked up four bags. Again, this is something we ran out of um, just at the very end. So we probably won't go through all those. But if we don't get there um, for two months, we will. So I did pick those up as well. So that is what we got in our Costco haul this time. Now, um, we did add in the coats. Um, so that did bump our prices up a little bit. But we did spend... Um, well over six hundred dollars then on groceries this month that is something that we don't typically do uh but we had an extra pay um for the way we budget our family budget this month and so we did go ahead and stock up on some things in addition to the fact we haven't been there and um i get leery with the extracurriculars activity starting that we might not be able to get there um at the end of september so now now this video we did shoot our haul um, right before Labor Day but unfortunately right after the holiday we got some sickness in our home and so I wasn't able to finish up editing and posting and so I am going to go ahead at uh, the end of this and tag on our um, Trader Joe's haul for you so I'll go ahead and put that in now Okay, guys, this is what we got from Trader Joe's. As you'll notice, there's um, a lot of duplicates of just a couple things. 
We don't go very often. We go probably every second or third trip that we go to Costco, and Costco's only every four to eight weeks. We never know. So we really never know when we are getting back to Trader Joe's. And so we just kind of pick up multiples of things um, that we do go through from there. So um, the first thing is the produce. We don't um, sometimes pick up produce there because we didn't do a big Aldi haul this week. Um, we got a lot of our produce um, kind of just split up all over the place. One of the things I wanted to get was sweet potatoes, and I didn't see any um, at Costco, and so I did go ahead and pick these up. It was, uh, I think it was about $5 for the bag, and we will make sweet potato pizza with these um, for lunch during the school week this week for my kiddos. And then I did stop at Aldi, and the one thing I was going to grab when I was there was pineapple. I want to get pineapple and apples um, and just uh, salsa for my husband, really, this week. Um, just a few things that we knew we needed. And their pineapples were actually moldy and gross. I was super sad. And so I was thinking I would pick them up at the Aldi beside um, Costco. And so I didn't get one at Costco. And then we ran over um, to see if Aldi we had any salsa to stock up on my husband because he likes um, mild and Costco only carries like a medium. Um, and so we went in um, and there's, they only had two and they were gross too. And I was super sad that I didn't go ahead and buy them when I was at um, Costco, but I wasn't driving back through the craziness um, and going back in just for pineapple. So when I was at Trader Joe's, I did go ahead and pick up one of those. Um, it is like two almost three times the price to get one there as it is at Aldi and so they only got the one this week um, they're just going to have to do with other fruit I actually still have some mandarins left from last week that need ate up anyway so they can go ahead and have those and then we got the skipjack tuna this is about a buck 40 a pound or sorry a can um, but you can see It's nice and clean ingredients. Um, I do sometimes get the, I guess, kind of knockoff version at um, Aldi. Um, but I do try and go ahead and get um, something better than like the traditional conventional store brands. Those, almost all of them have soy in them. So the fact that this doesn't, we went ahead and switched over to this. Um, we do use it if we need something super quick for like a lunch. Um, but also we use these to take with us sometimes because they have the pull tab. We can These ones do and Aldi doesn't and that's why I like to keep some of these ones on hand. Um, we can go ahead and use the pull tab and we can use those when we are out um, for lunch. We'll take some of our crackers or something and dip them in and then we can have some fruit and whatnot on the side. And it just makes a quick and easy lunch um, if we're going to the park or we're going on a field trip somewhere. Um, and we don't have maybe any turkey meat or whatever or we just want something different. Um, the next thing I have is this baking powder. It is aluminum free, um, and so and it's fairly cheap. It's like a dollar something a, a container, I think. So um, we go through a lot of baking powder um, in general, and I always get nervous that I'm going to run out, and I don't want to have to buy anything that has aluminum in it. So I do go ahead and try and keep um, one of those on hand. And I decided this time because it's been a while since we've got back, and I was afraid that I might run out of it that I would just pick up three of them um, for the price point. It's not worth worrying about running out of it. We just keep it in the cupboard downstairs with our Costco extras. Um, we picked up a couple chomp sticks. We actually have a pretty decent supply of these still. We try and pick them up when we're there, or um, sometimes we'll get Nick's beef sticks off of Amazon. Sorry, kind of hard. It's having a hard time focusing. Um, but they are grass-fed. There we go. Um, and they're just like a little like beef jerky stick. They're nice to be able to take on the go if we need um, a snack, especially if we need some. My husband likes to have more something that's more like protein. Um, he doesn't want like a granola bar or something, so those are nice to have on hand. Um, and then we got a seasoning salt. Um, my kiddos like seasoning salt on some of their stuff, and we're trying to um, clean it up. This, unfortunately, it didn't look like it's organic. But it didn't have any like fillers or anything. It was all real ingredients. And so for now, that is okay. Maybe that'll change in my opinion later. But for now, for our family, that is okay. So we went ahead and we picked one of those up. We're going to try it out and see how we like it. Um, that we, you will see with this later. My, my little sister picks this up for me when she goes down also because we kind of... Um, when I can't go, this is the one thing she picks up for me all the time because we go through it so quickly. So if we do like this, I will ask her um, to pick one of these up next time she goes also. But I wanted to try it before we bought a bunch of it. 
Um, since I mentioned that, this is the raw cheese that we get. Um, and we just cube it up and we use it for, um, like with fruit, for a little snack, um, kind of the, the healthy fats in there with um, the sugars to kind of balance it out. Or we'll put it in um, like a homemade Lunchable. We took Lunchables to the zoo yesterday. We went on our field trip and we were able to add fruit in these and these and our um, Simple Mills crackers and some of that clean turkey meat and whatnot. And so um, these are nice to have on hand for that. So I have not froze these yet, but I have heard they can be frozen. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple of these in the freezer because I actually have, I think, two or three of these downstairs still. Um, from when my sister made her last trip not too long ago. So um, we're going to try that out and see how it works. So I went ahead and picked up four still, even though I had a couple while we were there. And then I got this. Um, we tried this out last time and we like it. My ultimate goal would be to make our own sauces because that's going to be the best opportunity to get clean sauce. Um, but you can see overall, again, fairly clean ing or, sorry, ingredients, and most of them are organic. It does have um, organic cornstarch in it and some xanthan gum, um, but it's not too bad. And so that's the first barbecue sauce that we found that has been um, pretty acceptable as far as ingredients and we actually enjoy. So we picked up um, three of those. We still have the one from last time. I think we're just finishing it up because I was a little scared to try it that we wouldn't like it. So now that we have and we know we liked it, um, I did pick three of those up. We have a couple of these, um, but I wanted to pick one up. We're still struggling with figuring out the dressing thing. This does have, a, what is it, canola? Yeah, it has the vegetable oil in it, so that's something I'm really trying to get away from. But um, dressings have been our biggest um, downfall from trying to clean up our diet. So I, at least it has minimal, minimal ingredients, um, and there is no... Um, gluten in this one so we did go ahead and pick that up for now we'll see and then we got this which again like I said dressings not our strong suit yet but my daughter does like this one and so I did go ahead um, and pick that up for her and then up here you can see um, we have these frozen burgers they are not grass-fed um, but these are something we like to keep on hand um, for in a pinch. You can see the, oops, not that side. Let's see if we can find the ingredients for you right there. Super clean ingredients. Um, so they're nice to have in a pinch if we come home um, maybe later than we expected from because we were out shopping or something like that. We had that happen yesterday when we were on our field trip and we need something super fast. Or if my kids are going to the in-laws um, and they need something to make that's super easy, these are just frozen patties that can be grilled up like any other burger. So those are nice and easy. Um, I did get a bunch of these plantain chips. These are some of our favorites. Um, a favorite snack of mine and my kids they've kind of replaced any chip that we have in our house for the most part um we didn't eat a lot of chips i actually probably eat these more than i ate potato chips by far um but they're nice we'll take the bags are pretty small you can see um they're like six ounces but we can take one of these bags if we're going on a trip for the day maybe to like a field trip or something and they're just a snack that everybody can share while we're out um and then i got a few of these we we're working on replacing um Replacing this, actually, I'm not super ecstatic about this, um, but my my girls are eating like a bean chocolate cereal, which I'm okay with, a sprouted cereal. Um, but my little, my son, my one out of my four, won't eat that. And so um, I've currently been getting him these, and I am looking for something that'll be a better replacement. So if you know something um, that's a decent price range, I did find that sprouted O's, and if I can find them on sale, they're great. But if I can't, they're a little out of our price range at the moment. So um, if you guys know of anything, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. But I did pick up two of those for right now. Um, if he runs out, he runs out and he'll have to eat um, pancakes. But they do get to eat cereal once a week on a weekend day. Um, and so they always look forward to that. So, And then the last thing I got was this. Uh, we are currently out of yogurt. And so we'll use this probably tomorrow, and then I'll probably use it um, as a starter. Yeah, it's just, it's grass-fed plain to make our own yogurt because I have some milk in the fridge. So that, um, I think I got everything. Oh, this, I'm sorry. This is the one thing I missed is the um, organic creamy tomato soup. And 
Let me see. There we go. I always pick the wrong side. Ingredients, again, not perfect, but way better than like Campbell's. And we do have a couple recipes that we make on um, like casseroles that have this and then some meat and veggies in it. So um, the one we make is like an old time recipe of my great grandmother's. So I've been wanting um, to replace it with something. And for now, that's the best thing we've been able to find that we actually like. So um, that is everything we got on our Trader Joe's trip today. That's what we got at Trader Joe's this time. Everyone seems to have their favorites. Um, those are a few things for us that we cannot find anywhere else. And so you'll notice there were um, a few items, but many of those items. So we just um, stock up on the things that we really um, enjoy as a family when we go. And then we're stocked up because we can only go there every um, like three trips we make to Costco. So we're lucky to get there once a quarter. And so we just stock up on those items um, in excess, it seems, uh, so that it will last us um, if we don't get there for another three or four months. Uh, so that brings our total to um, about, six, about eight, close to $800, um, a little under $800 for um, our entire Costco and our Trader Joe's haul. We are a family of six if you are new here and you don't follow regularly. Um, we typically budget about $100 to $125 a week, and then we spend a couple hundred dollars on a Costco haul um, every month. We have not been there in two months, so this was two months worth of haul for us um, to replace, and it was also um, our weekly grocery. I did not weekly grocery that shop this week, so um, we got everything that we would need for the week, um, either at Trader Joe's or at Costco. Um, so that was all included in that budget. We do have two adults and four kids who are all eating at home all the time or packing their lunches um, if we are going out of the house. So that's how we budget our things. Um, if you guys are interested in these Costco hauls or other grocery hauls, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. I typically do grocery hauls a few times a month. I also have eBay and um, homeschooling videos if you are interested. So until next time, thanks so much. We'll see ya. Bye.